It does not take a long time for a man to know that, okay, this could be my potential woman. It doesn't take that long. Mm -hmm. It takes a man a long time maybe to settle down or maybe to get to the point that he feel comfortable cutting everything else off for you. That may take a bit longer. But if he said out his mouth that he doesn't feel like there's a strong connection between you guys or he feel like you like him more than he likes you, that's not something that typically swings the other way mm-hmm. in regards to men. Like with a lot of women, it can go that way. Like a lot of men have kind of earned their spot per se with a woman. It don't go that way with men. Like we need to be intrigued immediately. Mm. It's not a situation where, oh, okay, if you just kick, you stay around, you know, eventually I might grow to like you a little more. No, it, it don't work like that. Like we see you how we see you. Now we'll string you along if we get benefits from you that, you know, that are convenient to us. But as far as like him actually getting to a point to where I like you more now than I did. No, no. So you give him a second chance. He's just going to drag your ass along even longer. She make it clap, clap. <laughs> <laughs> she can sign us, man. Clap. clap. <laughs> <laughs> she make it clap. So in essence, this video is about stringing people along. Happens all the time. You ladies, you ladies, you you tend to complain about these things, and you want you think it's all the guy's fault, but you remain in these situationships and these relation, the, not even relationships, but these situationships. So this is a common thing that comes up with women. Women always, you know, we see this on social media about how do you know if a guy is serious? How long before he commits? How long before he knows if he wants to be with you? Is he playing with your emotions? Is he playing with your feelings? It's perfectly understandable for, you know, for you to be thinking like that. Women always ask this question. You know, you have websites, blogs, different support groups for women dealing with guys who may not be taking them seriously. And they're just like, is he serious? How long is it going to take him to commit? I've been this in this relationship with this dude for like forever in a day is he ever going to make up his mind things like that the thing that you ladies need to realize is that we're not like you in terms of our outlook on you it doesn't like he said it doesn't get over time where we're like oh more and more so on and so forth we're visual creatures all right when we see you we're attracted to you we can say if we you know visually if we want if we could see you as our wife, we could see you having our kids, so on and so forth. With women, women are more so like, is he good for me? Can I be secure with this guy? You know, they'll project the whole fairy tale aspect of it. Even though the guy may not be financially secure, he may not be secure at all. But she'll still project that fantasy, especially for the dudes that got that are slick with the tongue and, you know, know how to talk. And things like that. You whisper sweet nothings. You tell a woman what she want to hear. She's like out of this world and on your side. But for us as guys, we look at a woman like, okay, she's 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 beautiful. She's sexy. You know, I could you know I could see myself talking to her. But after those first few interviews, and you actually sitting down and you getting to know each other and things like that, and you see that she's not a psycho. She's got her stuff together. She doesn't have any family issues, no baby daddy issues. Um, she has it poked holes in your tires or bust out in your windows. And you can effectively communicate with her. And you can be like, yeah, this is wifey material. And it doesn't take two to three years to figure that out. Definitely, definitely not 10. And a lot of you ladies are in these 10 year relationships still like, well, maybe one day he'll come around. Maybe one day, you know he i can get him to give me a ring and things like that but no so you have you have like within the first month right if you're dating consistently within the first month a guy will know whether he wants to pursue or take it further in terms of a serious relationship not necessarily that he needs to you know bring up the topic and be like 
we should be boyfriend and girlfriend. We should go steady, if you will. We should make this thing official. That's more so a woman's idea, but he knows in his mind if she brings that up, whether he wants to be that serious on that type of time. It does not take six to eight months to know whether you want to be in a serious relationship with the woman. Now, like bro said in the video, some dudes will string a woman along. It's how it goes. You're going to get strung along to get some buns out of the situation. Maybe if they need a place to stay, they'll do that. And they'll they'll proceed, to, you know, finesse just to get that out of them until they can move on to something better. But ladies, it's ultimately up to you whether you stick around for that. It's up to you. If you stick around and you allow this to happen, instead of being intentional with it, if you see that it's not going anywhere and you've already sat down and had that talk, and I coach a lot of ladies on this. If you if you want something serious and you're telling this guy and he's giving you all the signs or telling you, like, I'm not on that type of time. I don't see myself doing that. I just want to you know, kick back and have fun with you. Why can't we just enjoy each other? Which I think is perfectly fine. But some dudes, some dudes are like that too. They just want to kick back and have a good time with you. They don't want to get on all that, you know, serious because some dudes are just like, and I know you ladies hate it because the media is pushing it out there, but marriage is a serious thing. Marriage is for better or for worse. It's like you're with this person forever. And if anything just so happens to fall apart, then this guy's life, be the way the court system is set up, can be destroyed. So for a man with assets and means and things like that, that can be a, a, a big thing. Now, for the dudes that really don't have much going on or don't have any assets or properties or things like that, why they don't get married, I don't know, per se. I don't know. I can't. I can't say why they won't get married. And they're shacking up with you for 10, 10, 15, 20 years. But you also hear the thing about people who do get married or people who spend like seven, like several years together. And when they get married, they end up getting divorced. It's just weird. It's it's like that. But I know so many of you ladies, y'all want that fantasy. You want that castle over the mountain that comes with the bridge. You know, you want that that guy to play with your kids you want your kids to have a father around so on and so forth but you can't pressurize a guy everything should be smooth if but you can say this is what i want and i'm trying to leverage my best years for that and even if you if even if those best years are behind you quote unquote when you meet a guy, there's nothing wrong with on a date to bringing up that conversation. Like, what are your intentions? What are you? What is your outlook on life? Where do you see yourself? Are you looking for a serious relationship? Are you looking for marriage? These are questions that go on with dating. And a lot of women, I can see where you may be fearful or you're like, well, I may scare them off with this. I may scare them off by talking about marriage, so on and so forth. But closed mouth don't get fed. If that's what you want, you need to actually speak on that and say, this is what I want. I'm looking for a husband. I can't spend my years just being this way. Even whatever your reasons are for getting married. Because some guys will just keep putting you off over and over and over and over and not really think much of it. But it's about intention and it's about finding that person. You may be head over heels in love with this guy and he may be head over heels in love with you. But if he really loves you on that type of time, it doesn't take him forever to decide to decide if he wants you to be his wife. Same thing for you fellas. Don't be stringing a woman along. Let her go. Let her find her prince charming that's willing to put that ring on her finger bros and same thing with you if you want to be married or if you don't want to be married let her know right up front she may be on that type of time she may not be but that's for you to let her decide up front where she can never say you didn't tell me that you know what i mean don't be disingenuous be truthful when it comes to stuff like that man so just my thoughts on it anyway man let me know what you guys think about this whole topic i don't think it doesn't take a man long at all to know whether he wants to be serious with you 
or whether he wants to marry you. A man should know whether he wants to marry you in about right around three to four months. In my opinion, six months tops, whether he wants to marry you. Just my opinion. So let me know what you guys think. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit me up on Cali and Linktree. Ladies, if you want to book a one-on-one -on -one to get some advice from a man's perspective, hit me up. Fellas, if you want to get some advice from your Uncle Wisdom, hit me up as well. Guys, follow me on Instagram. Um, I'll follow you back. Make sure you guys pick up a copy of my books. They're, they're available on Amazon and my website. You see it right here, these two. Uh, Puppeteering with Heartstrings and the Law of Attraction for the Pessimistic Mind. And paperback, ebook, and PDF. You guys can pick them up right now. Super cheap. It'll change your life. Guys, you see these good buddy t-shirts. Make sure you pick up one right now. The link is in the description for spring, teespring, as well as some other designs I put out weekly. Make sure you guys pick one up. And like I said, pick up my all my books as well. Make sure you guys purchase them. Guys, if you're subscribed, make sure you guys hit all notifications because some people are telling me they're not receiving any notifications. Make sure you get all not hit all notifications. And for those of you who haven't subscribed, yo, hit that subscribe button. I'm trying to run this up to 75,000 subs by March 1st. Let's do it, guys. I know you can do it. Let's get there. It's my short-term goal. And with that being said, guys, listen, man, I appreciate you for all that you do. This is wisdom. Peace be upon you all. The mercy and blessings of the almighty. I'm going to catch you guys on the next one. I'm out of here. Peace. It's God's true beef maker. I don't know. I will put a light in the sky for the G's that don't turn memory from God. Blessings we send to the ghetto you them.